Good morning, Art of the Hook and Needle. This morning, I wanted to share with you real quick about the Addy, um, swing, Addy swing hooks. I started crochet, back crocheting about three years ago, and I had done it when, in my earlier 20s. And so when I started back, I was finding that I couldn't crochet for as very long. Um, I've been diagnosed with a carpal tunnel. Uh, back in my early 20s and obviously um, it depends on your circulation I mean my carpal tunnel isn't that bad I have very um, very my circulation is small in my wrists and basically it's it comes out the carpal tunnel comes out when I use my wrists in you know repetitive motion and that's obviously what carpal tunnel is it's really not debilitating to me um, I'm not as bad as some people might be. It just was something that occurred in my earlier 20s because of the repetitive cashiering. I was a cashier while I was going to college and, you know, just those types of jobs that required, you know, repetitive wrist motion. Um, it doesn't, it hasn't really, it started to bother me again when I started crocheting, obviously due to the repetitive motion. So I was talking to somebody and they suggested that I purchase Addy swing hooks and try them out. I purchased just two Addy hooks because they are about $14 to $16 a piece. And I decided I wanted to try it out first before I invested into my hobby, which, you know, smart move. Just in case I didn't like them, I didn't want to buy the whole set. A whole set I just purchased, um, also I'd like to preface with this review too, is that the, this was not given to me from the manufacturer. I actually, on my birthday, um, decided June of this year, after three years, to invest in an entire set of Addy hooks. And honestly, I should have done it prior to the be doing this for three years because what it has done for me is allowed me to crochet longer, faster, and easier with less wrist movement. And they are amazing hook. They are an amazing product for those who, you know, could use that. Um, I'm not saying it's going to work for everybody because I just wanted to let you know that it does require change in how you actually do your wrist movements. So obviously if you've been doing crochet for a long time, it's going to be a learning curve of properly hold it, holding the hook because if you're not properly holding it, it doesn't help you at all. So what I'm going to do today, this morning, is I'm going to show you the proper way to hold the hook, which is it. And also too, prior to me purchasing, I, I wanted to also share that I'm not a pencil holder. So in my style, I do not know how that would have impact you or if it'd be too much of a change, but I previously held my hook like this. This is how my regular hook I would have held. Um, um, I believe that's called knife, knife style. So with the Addy hook, what you do is there is this great ergonomic way and it has a ridge right here and that's called the thumb ridge. So basically you hold your thumb in the ridge and how once you get used to the placement and holding the hook correctly you actually can just yarn over pull through the nickel i believe on the the shaft of the hook is so smooth and it allows the yarn just to flow through um, the finish on the shaft is smooth so it doesn't get caught up on, let me, let me do my regular hook here. You know, sometimes you have to pull through. Okay. So it also, how it has helped me is I don't find that I'm constantly having to have a tighter hold on my hook and I have less tension and less muscles being used, my hand muscles, for 
the the hook itself it although it looks you know heavier it's really not much it's very lightweight as well excuse me i wasn't looking at my i was not looking at my stitches okay so I am a big fan of my Eddy hooks, and obviously since I invested in the entire set, um, I chose not to go with the set that included the case because I have this Vera Bradley um, case that I hold all my, all my hooks in. And these will come to you in plastic. Um, I opened them up and just put them in my bag. I also have the ones that I currently use quite frequently in the pouch on this side of the cosm I, I believe this is a cosmetic bag they call it from Vera Bradley I just converted it to my yarn and I also have a matching travel bag too so obviously taking your yarn everywhere and going with your um, tools is <laughs> a great thing the also they color code it and the feature of color coding is you know every single millimeter size has a different color to the to the shaft of the, the hook and it's clearly marked large you know i'm sorry six six point oh um so it's easy for you to find your your size that you're needed the only thing I didn't buy was the smaller ones because um, the smaller set, you know, like the 0.75, 1, and 1.25. I do, I'm going to be venturing into doilies this uh, Christmas season, I believe. So I will probably invest in that later on. But I want to share with you about these hooks because I personally have chose to use that as my preferred tool. And I know we all have our preferred tools, but this has really been a game changer for me and allowed me to do, um, do this more, my hobby, you know, without putting it down and being like, I'm done, I can't do anymore. Um, so it does, it has changed the way that I do my hobby and it's allowed me to do it longer and faster and easier. So I hope you enjoy this video. And we will see you in the group. Happy yarning.